Hello and welcome to this little update video. Now, jumping straight in, I haven't uploaded a video in about three or four weeks now, so let's just call it a month. And that's not because I've abandoned YouTube, I've actually been working on multiple video projects. But at the last moment, upon reviewing the final product of one of my videos, the final render that I would upload, my gut instinct was telling me that I just wasn't happy with the video. So basically, that video that was supposed to be released today is no longer going to be released. I've just been editing the video and I thought I would record this just to clarify that a few moments ago when I referred to a video being released today, the date and day I am referring to is Sunday the 12th of August 2018, but due to two completely unrelated hardware issues that I've had with my computer, and I'm not being sarcastic when I say they are unrelated, they are completely unrelated, but they just so happen to both occur within the same week, but due to these issues, it did mean that my, my desktop, my primary editing system has been out of action and that has not only delayed the video that I said I was going to re-record, these issues have also delayed the release of this update video because it is only as of this morning I have uh, got my desktop back working and all the issues have been resolved. But if you want to know more about these two issues that I've been having, just keep watching the video because I will go over both of them in detail and with that said, let's just jump straight into me explaining explaining these issues. And something else that I wanted to mention is that as of about three days ago my computer was out of action which definitely didn't help when it came to creating uh, the video that I just told you about, the one that I'm going to refilm because I'm not happy with it. But this limitation wasn't software based, it was actually hardware based. So I took my CPU cooler off my desktop and in the process of me taking it off, the bracket that mounted the cooler on top of the CPU had, uh, it had a missing spring and a missing nut and then for the bracket was well if I just go and get you the old bracket I'll be able to show you what I'm on about so this is the original bracket. The way this bracket should work is, you see that there's a nut on there. I will just say that that nut and the spring that would go on there between the nut and the uh, top of the bracket was actually missing. So this tiny little nut was a nut that I just pulled out of my screw container where I keep all the loose screws and nuts and bolts and stuff. So I could at least screw that on there, uh, which did keep the two pieces together. But because there was no spring creating tension between the nut and the bracket, it meant that the bracket wasn't in one solid piece like that because this bracket is uh, designed to be adjustable and the spring is what pushes this top piece of the bracket down uh, and that therefore makes it adjustable like that but because the spring and the nut had gone missing like I said I found this nut after I'd actually removed the bracket and figured out what was wrong but without the spring the bracket is just all wobbly but when the bracket is actually put on the cooler and it is screwed down into the motherboard uh, that spring really doesn't matter because it's these screws and the tension on the cooler that's holding it in place but the moment you unscrew these screws and remove the tension what literally happened was because the the nut was missing so the moment I unscrewed these screws and removed the tension, the top bracket just became loose and well, it kind of just fell apart. And trying to remount this bracket without the spring and the nut, uh, but without the spring as a spring is what's needed to keep it together. So uh, basically not having the spring meant I couldn't practically put this back together because it would just fall apart. And for those wondering, was it a simple fix? Did the spring and nut just fall out in the case? Uh, the simple answer is no the spring and nut was already missing. So uh, I, I completely tore my computer down, took the motherboard out, took the power supply out and checked everything. There was no nut or spring anywhere, meaning it had gone missing somewhere between me upgrading to the X99 platform about a year ago now and uh, between me taking the CPU cooler off. So there's that like one year time frame where it could have gone missing. And I know it was there when I upgraded to X99 because I did a video series on my YouTube channel when I upgraded and I watched the footage back and the nut and the spring was in uh, was on the bracket in that video. So it had gone missing sometime between me upgrading uh, back then when I recorded that video and uh, me taking my cooler off a few, a few days ago. I looked down there because my desktop's down there. I have since ordered a new bracket and my CPU is back in action like I said been back in action now for three days and this thing's tied itself up again but I have since ordered received and installed
installed the new bracket so the old brackets here the new bracket is installed and as you can see the fan at the back is spinning and my graphics card has a light on it I've reinstalled the cooler and now my desktop is back in action which is good and after I had got my CPU cooler's bracket, I put the CPU cooler on and then my computer was back up and running, at least for three days, because what happened three days later was my main drive, my Samsung 840 EVO SSD, died on me. So the way I had determined this drive to have failed was through trial and error basically. The first thing I did was check the memory because I know uh, computers RAM can be like really finicky and can cause a lot of issues. But I ran 12 hours worth of mem test which did multiple loops in those 12 hours and not a single error was detected. Uh, the graphics card is fine. I just know that from experience and using it I've not been having any graphical artifacts or overheating issues or anything like that. My power supply is fine the same goes for the cpu that's been running fine no issues there relating to clock speeds or voltages or temperatures or anything like that i've also had no issues regarding stability or crashing or anything of that sort that could be cpu related so by this point i had eliminated my gpu my memory my cpu and i just sort of had a gut instinct that my motherboard wasn't the issue because it is a fairly new motherboard uh, which only left one thing left this drive and the symptoms that this drive was showing was the typical signs of a failing SSD such as crashing, freezing, just under general usage so whether that was just opening up file explorer or browsing the internet, video editing, whatever, my system uh, like locked up and freezed. It didn't blue screen but it did crash but blue screening is one of the common symptoms and the other symptom was corruption of data because on my camera the update video you are watching at the moment originally as it was only a short video I moved those files over to over to this drive which was was my OS drive and then when I went to play back the videos they were corrupted so yeah it must be the SSD and another reason on why I believe it was the SSD is because as of this morning I installed a hard drive because I've actually ran out of SSDs so I need to go and buy a new one uh, but I installed the hard drive reinstalled the OS and everything has just been working flawlessly since uh, since that installation now it is a hard drive which is a bit slower but uh, I'm not really looking for speed at the moment I'm looking for stability and just trying to ultimately determine if this was the cause of my issues and as I've just stated ever since I removed this from the system and reinstalled the OS on a hard drive it's been working flawlessly I've not had any hiccups issues crashes anything like that so I do strongly believe that this was a cause of all those issues because now I've removed it all the issues have gone. After I had done all of my troubleshooting and everything basically led to uh, me believing that this drive was failing and that this was the cause of the issues that I was having, I did go ahead and uh, do a fresh installation of Windows on this drive and even though I did a fresh installation the issues were still persisting so that then further confirmed to me that this drive was the actual problem and it wasn't to do with uh, the Windows installation or it wasn't really related to any software related issue it was more a hardware failure issue of this SSD and the electronics inside it and what I can say is I have ordered my new SSD there'll be an independent video on that I may do a multiple part series where part one is the unboxing and part two the installation and part three the setup and things like that so look out for those on the channel in the future but I think I've explained everything to as best as I can without just going on and on and on. So that is where I have been over the past few weeks. I've been creating videos and then deciding I don't like them. So I've been taking them back to the drawing board in order to recreate them. But then when I try to recreate them, my computer's CPU cooler's bracket decides it's going to fall apart. So I needed to wait and get a new one of those before I could put my CPU cooler back on the CPU. Which meant my computer was out of action for those few days my CPU didn't have its cooler on and everything works fine for three more days until my SSD here which was my OS drive decides to fail on me so at the moment I've got a, a known good working hard drive in my system and my system now works flawlessly I have ordered my new SSD that I'm going to be installing but that will be in a future video on this channel and yeah that's sort of the roundup on where I've been and everything I talked about in this video so if you enjoyed the video give it a like if you didn't give it a dislike 
dislike and also consider subscribing so you can see future videos of mine on my channel regarding technology and whatever else I bring to the channel and hopefully it will be a bit more reliable in the future because I've replaced everything that's failing hopefully now I've said that something else will probably fail but anyway that is it for this video so thank you for watching and I shall speak to you in the next video and again I said my old outro mixed in with my new outro and yeah it is what it is thank you for watching my computer well my main desktop my primary editing for God's sake every time i'm trying to record a video an alarm or someone always rings me or a text message or something always happens why what was i saying oh not again shut up and i suspect some data would <laughs> Good thing it's dead, because if it wasn't, it probably will be now. Well, to be honest, it's an SSD, so it probably wouldn't be dead, but it's a good thing it's, uh, it's dead from other causes, not, uh, not dead from rough handling. And hopefully it will be a bit more... what's the word I'm looking for? And hopefully it will be a bit more reliable in the future, because I've replaced everything that's failing.